compass is an instrument used for measuring angle between two survey lines. Compass shows angle between magnetic knot and survey line. Compass is being used since 2000 years. It is mainly used for navigation in earlier days. Compasses are of two types, prismatic compass and surveyal compass. Prismatic compass measures 0 degree to 360 degrees in a clockwise direction. Surveyal compass measures 0 to 90 either from north or south. It is denoted by northeast Major component of compass are magnetic needle, line of sight, graduation circle, box to house the compass. Magnetic needle shows the north direction, line of sight used for locating the survey station. Graduation circle is having angles. In prismatic compass graduation circle is fixed to broad type needle and not rotated with the line of sight in surveyor compass graduation circle is fixed to box and rotate with the line of sight in prismatic compass prism is fixed at viewing end in surveyor compass no prism will be there and we have to view direct in prismatic compass sighting and viewing can be done simultaneously. In server compass, it cannot be done sim simultaneously. In prismatic compass, viewing needle act as an index while reading. In surveyor compass, needle not act as an index while reading. In prismatic compass, graduations are whole circle bearing. In surveyor compass, Graduations are in a reduced bearing and in quadrantal system. In prismatic compass, graduations marking are inverted as it is viewed through prism. In surveyor compass, graduations are not inverted. In prismatic compass, readings are to be done through prism. In surveyor compass, viewing should be done from the top glass. In prismatic compass, tripod may or may not be used. In surveyor compass, tripod is essential. True bearing is an angle which a line makes with the true north. Magnetic bearing is an angle which line makes with the magnetic north. In whole circle bearing is an angle which a line makes with the north in clockwise direction. Reduced bearings are measured measurement of angles with their line makes with either north or with south these are denoted by northeast southeast southwest northwest Forbearing is an is the angle measured from survey station to other survey station in surveying direction. Backbearing is the angle measured from next station to preceding survey station in surveying direction.
procedure for measuring angle with the help of compass. Set compass along with the tripod or station A and center it. Level the compass with the help of spirit level bubble attached to compass. Focus the prism. Rotate the box till the ranging rod that station B is visible through line of sight. Bring the needle to the rest. Take the reading. Bearing A to B from A is called forebearing of line AB and reading from B to station A is called back bearing of AB. Similarly other lines also. Forward bearing and back bearing must differ by 180 degrees. For checking of a closed traverse, we must use a cross set. Bearings are whole circle bearings and reduced bearings. To convert whole circle bearing to reduced bearing in the first quadrant whole circle bearing reading uh, whole circle bearing and uh, reduced bearing are same in the second uh, quadrant time uh, we have to deduct a uh, angle uh, from 180 degrees uh, to arrive uh, reduced bearing In the third quadrant, we have to deduct 180 from the angle of whole circle bearing to arrive reduced bearing. In third quarter, in fourth quarter, we have to deduct whole circle bearing from 360. In first quadrant, reduced bearing will be denoted by northeast, and in second quadrant, southeast, third quadrant, southwest, and fourth one, northwest. Angles are internal angles or deflection angles. Angle ABC is an internal angle whereas angle C B B dash is a deflection angle. We can construct a traverse with the help of a internal angle or a with the deflection angle. Angle A can be arrived by deducting a bearing DA from a bearing AB. Similarly, other sides also we can arrive the internal angles. The difference between true meridian and magnetic meridian is called declination at a place. Some places declination is towards east, there are some places declination is towards west. Eastward is a positive declination and westward is a negative declination.
isogonic lines are lines having places of equal declinations agonic lines are lines connecting places with zero declination these lines are marked on a map by survey of india variations in declination happen secularly annually daily and regularly secular variations are happens around with 100 years gap annual variations are changes every year daily variations are up to 1 minute irregular variations are due to volcanic eruptions earthquakes etc the vertical angle made between horizontal line and magnetic needle is called dip at the northern hemisphere dip is towards north whereas in southern hemisphere dip is towards south to balance the dip sliding rider will be used it will act as a counterweight local attractions by magnetic rock iron ore steel structure iron poles rails electric poles wires key bunches knives iron buttons steel rimmed spectacles chain arrows hammer clearing axle axes etc will attract the magnetic needle of compass and it will affect the reading to cross check the uh, survey work uh, four bearing and uh, back bearing must uh, differ by 180 degrees and care should be taken uh, while taking reading uh, to uh, avoid uh, this uh, magnetic ma- magnetic uh, articles uh, which which will affect the readings uh.